How to set up your starter plan with Shopify. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to get started with the starter plan with Shopify and how to actually set things up to get up and running. So let's actually go ahead and uh, like talk about it. So basically, the starter plan is going to be the uh, most basic plan for Shopify. This is the for the people who are just getting started with your e-commerce platform kind of selling stuff. Uh, it's going to be very easy and much easier than, you know, managing the basic or these pl more advanced plans uh, because, you know, you can actually go ahead and start selling using, using basically sharing links within your social media. So you can just share links in your Instagram and this is pretty much how to create sales with the starter plan. It's just going to be as easy as that. Uh, now, to get started, we just go to Shopify.com and we just go to the pricing section this way we can actually go ahead and view the plans here so you know you will you will find the basic shopify advanced and plus we are just going to skip those and scroll down a little bit more until we actually find the startup plan now you can actually get started for one dollar for your first month actually you can start for free and then afterwards you can go through uh i believe three months with only one dollar uh, and then afterwards, it's just going to be $5 per month, which is very, very great. Uh, so if we just click on learn more, because, you know, considering you will actually be making a lot more uh, once you with this uh, plan. So you can see you can get started for free and then you can see the rest are going to be first month, $1. And then I guess it's just going to be $5 from there. So, uh, yeah, you can just, you know, read more about it and everything you want. But regardless, to actually get started, after we click on the start plan, we just click on start free trial. Uh, so we can, you know, actually test things out for yourself before we get committed to something, okay? So here you will need to actually just fill in some information about yourself. So you can just go ahead for, I'm just starting. Uh, and then here you'll obviously, you know, talk about more uh, things like, are you going to be uh, selling uh, an online store? Uh, or what basically uh, you want to sell in person or social media. Uh, if you have a website or blog, you can just also check this. Basically, this setup is just going to allow Shopify to personalize this uh, experience more for yourself, basically. Actually, let me just actually go back. Uh, you can also just skip all if you don't really know. Uh, like, if you don't know yet, you can just skip all. This way you can actually, you know, uh, decide later and stuff. Uh, not very important, but you can actually just fill them in. Anyways, here you can just set up where you are based in uh, at the moment. And this is just going to be uh, what you should go for and just click on next. And now it's actually just going to create the uh, Shopify store for you. Obviously you need to enter your email. Uh, I'll just sign up using Google. It's just much easier and faster. So let me just do that. Uh, and then here you, for security, let me just remind me next time. This is just going to be the two-step authentication stuff. Anyways, I'm just going to log in now. And now it should actually create the store for us. It shouldn't take too long uh, and it should be ready any second now. Almost done. So basically, I will just walk you through exactly what you need to do uh, to actually get uh, your starter plan set up. Uh, like I said, it's going to be very easy and simple. Basically, you will be uh, greeted with this page. And this is just going to show you the a simple guide, really, of what you need to do. Like, for example, add your first product, customize your online store, and then, you know, set up your store settings and all of those things. But you can just go ahead and follow me and, you know, you should be uh, doing all of those things. So the first thing that I suggest that you do is just go to the bottom left click on settings and actually start setting things up for yourself. So here you can set up within the store details, your currency, your time zone and all of those things. But most importantly, obviously you would need to go through all of those, of those things like checkout and shipping and delivery and all of those things. But most importantly is going to be this page right here, which is the payments. Uh, here you will need to go ahead and actually, you know, choose a provider and set up your payments. This way you will actually get paid. So basically, how do you want to get paid? Just set up the uh, platforms that are preferred and the ones that you actually know that you want to accept. Uh, and just PayPal should be outside. Okay, so you can just set those up 
completely uh you know on your own and you just obviously would know exactly which uh providers you would want to go for uh and just you know set them up from here and then you've got all of these uh other settings here if you want to connect domains all of those things very easy to do anyways after you're done with the settings now you can actually go ahead and uh let's say add products first so if you uh, know what you're selling you can just add product here click on add product give it a title description media price uh and then here you can you know set up the weight and all of those things if it's for example print on demand and you don't know how to add you know application and stuff just click on add apps here uh, and then you will just need to go to uh, the app store. So let me just go to all recommended apps. Uh, let's just go to the Shopify app store. And you can go for, for example, Printify or Printful, whichever kind of um, uh, print on demand or whichever type of uh, products you actually want to use. For example, if I want to go for Gelato, uh, we can do so. Completely up to you. You just install it uh, and you will be able to add products to your store. So let me just click on install and uh, just basically skip afterwards because I'm not going to necessarily add a product in front of you uh, because it's not necessarily what I'm trying to do. I'm just showing you exactly what you need to do. Uh, just, you know, actually look up some platforms that are going to help you out with, you know, your, your drop shipping or print on demand like Printify. Gelato, the one I just used, Zendrop. There's plenty of apps that you can actually use to help you out getting started. Now, what else you can actually set up for your startup plan is Linkpop. This way you can actually link all your uh, like store products and all of those things within your bio. And you know, you can actually put it in your Instagram's bio and so on. This way people can access your products very easily. So you can just go to add apps. Uh, again, just uh, Shopify App Store and just look for a uh, link pop and you should find it right here. This one, uh, it's for free. You can just install, install it real quick, set it up very easy uh, and you should be good to go. Now you can just, you know, actually paste the link to your um, uh, social media. This way people can access your products very easily. So now you added your products. Whether it's you know from dropshipping uh, apps, uh, your actual own products, or maybe even print on uh, demand and all of those things, you add your link pop and add the apps that you need. Next up is going to be going to online store and editing your online store real quick. You will be given the spotlight theme, and you can just go ahead and click on customize. Uh, and you can see how it's going to actually look like when your customers visit your um website here's going to be the collection of your products they are going to be all listed within here you don't really get too much as and you know how it would be usually with you know other plans with shopify but you do get uh, enough so you can actually set up uh, the background color of your site you can set up how uh, the text looks like you can add a logo for example if i go to uh, select image upload image I'm just going to be using this one. It's not necessarily my logo. I'm just going to be using it for the sake of this example. Click on done. Uh, it should actually show up uh, right there. And we can actually go ahead and uh, adjust the sizing of it if we want. Anyways, and you can, you know, actually set up the rest of the stuff for the home page. And also you can edit how the card page looks like. So you can actually see the button now. It's quite uh, it's a little bit yellow. We can just change that up to whichever color we want. Completely up to us. So, so just, you know, make sure that your uh, little site is not a necessarily big site that you will be given, but your simple site that it actually just looks good. And now you actually just can, after you click on save, you can just start selling and uh, people can actually pay you for your products. Just make sure that you share the links of your products uh, on your social media, uh, like I said, with link pop, just make sure you link it to your account and to your products and all of those things. And you can just add your link pop link to your bio. And this is pretty much how to set up your starter, uh, plan. It's very easy and simple. It's unlike the basic and other, you know, more, 
uh, advanced plans it's much easier for you to set up it doesn't really take much because most of it is going to be outside of shopify the only thing that actually is going to take place within shopify itself is when people actually click on the link be taken to the page and they can just simply buy the item so with that being said i hope you liked this video and found it to be helpful and thanks for watching